Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos. It is update time right around the corner, and when I visited Reddit this evening, I saw this stuff here. So I'm just gonna be going through the update announcement for April 11th and the upcoming changes to the repair the shelter mission. So that is actually almost as interesting for me, anyway. So let's dig into it, guys. First thing is, of course, the announcement that tomorrow, version 3.5 of Fortnite is coming huge update for save the world and besides them just posting that it is happening tomorrow I wanted to just briefly go through the roadmap of what we are going to be expecting to see when the servers come up after the downtime tomorrow this is something I'm looking so much forward to guys into the storm event begins part one of the quest line with an arid biome new survive the storm map new heroes new abilities not just reskin as for the heroes and constructors may have a reason to let the husks in so teasy teasy very excited about that stuff new weapons shiny ones too woo shiny more quality of life improvements outlander rework we've heard you on fragments and have given the outlander an overhaul so that is like uh, the nitty-gritty stuff of what is coming in patch 3.5 they're not really like putting it out there but we are expecting a lot of us that have played the game for a huge amount of time that the survive the storm is going to be a massive event where you go into a map where you need to defend generators or seven nights actually with days that you can skip or use to farm resources to make a huge base where the difficulty of the map will increase every night and where your reward depends on how long you are going to be protecting these generators for. I do have two videos on the Survive the Storm events so if you are interested in looking into it and how you can like do bases you can always check those out in preparation for it. But that guys was only like on the roadmap and the really interesting thing I feel about the post on Reddit today is this stuff here. So out of nowhere I see this post here upcoming changes to repair the shelter mission it hasn't been mentioned anywhere before that they were going to be doing anything about the repair of the shelter mission this is the second time they are changing the repair of the shelter mission and I personally am really happy that they are doing something about it because it is a pretty special mission to play regardless what it says here is hey everyone we wanted to give you a heads up before the 3.5 patch blah 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 what are they gonna be doing yeah exactly they are changing the entire way the repair of the shelter works and the main thing is that you no longer need to activate the shelter the way we normally play repair the shelter is that we make a base you know you, you find the shelter you defend it as in you build a huge base for it so that you are ready then you activate it go out found the sea butt come back protect it yada 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 and what they're writing here is basically that's not what they wanted they did not want this to be another atlas mission where you build a base and then protect it they are changing it now so it's going to be proximity triggered which means that as soon as a player comes close to the shelter the timer is going to start so they want it to be a bit more of a chaotic mission where you need to scavenger go like hoard the resources really trying to prepare for the attack pretty fast without making this super perfect kind of base a lot of comments have already been posted to this on reddit personally i'm pretty hyped about it not because i want harder missions but because i want mission variety and this year is going to allow me to have a different type of map and that is something I really want in the game so I'm looking very much forward to that another thing that they are changing is that they are now making the C bots player activated these are special bots you can activate then you need to defend them in order to find out where some of these modules are located on the map and yeah I mean that part didn't really work as I liked it anyway so I'm pretty hyped about that as well what I'm expecting for repair of the shelter is that the attacks on the shelter are going to be easier now because if they are making it harder for us to prepare the base I'm expecting them to also make the husks that are coming easier to take out or in like waves that are easier to manage. So I'm looking very much forward to checking out what that is as well because things have to be evened out in a way where everybody can have fun. So guys, that was what I wanted to post here. Like a completely different video from me here, but I just saw these posts here and I wanted to share it with you guys right away. I hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you very much and very much for watching.